John Postel, who helped institutionalize the underspinnings of today's internet standards, processes, and functions. And we are pleased that John's nephew, Ben Servney, is, has joined us to accept the award on the behalf of the Postel family. So please welcome Ben Servney. Hello, uh, thank you. This is incredibly humbling to be in this, uh, in this context here among so many of the people that not only are so instrumental to the construction of a system that, you know, uh, I'm of a generation that now my, me and my peers are building internet applications uh, uh, in Silicon Valley in this sort of the frothy internet economy that exists there now and it's just amazing to imagine you know that this this group here is you know sort of upstream in history from all of that uh, including my cousin John who <clears throat> for a long time I think we we uh, really thought of him as sort of Gandalf in the family we had really very little idea what he actually did but he was radiating kind of this uh, <laughs> kind of a quiet, willful integrity, which I think really was the foundation of, of much of what happened uh, in his sort of um, uh, kind of shepherding of many of these processes. Um, and I feel like um, there might be an anecdote, or at least one anecdote to share, which is uh, that, well, he was always really very, um, Kind of casual in his approach to how he, how he, the family, you know, he, he sort of explained what was happening to the family. Um, and uh, he would always give me these uh, dot matrix printed gift certificates to come and play Colossal Cave when I was a kid. I would go down to ISI, log into the computer, and play, play adventure games. And one year he asked me if it felt any different to be playing the game. And I said, no. And he said, well, you know, you're not, you're sitting here in Marina del Rey with me, but the, 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 it, you're playing the game in Stanford, at Stanford. And so that was, to me, sort of a, a moment where I began to understand what this was all about, you know, it, from a kid's perspective. Uh, but then sort of the second anecdote was uh, sitting around, uh, I think, a table at Christmas time uh, when John had to leave the room to take a phone call and he came back and said that it was the telecommunications minister of the Ukraine uh, who was calling to say <laughs> that he would like a top level domain because the Soviet Union was dissolving. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> and, you know, this is just kind of out of the blue for people that don't really understand, you know, what, you know, what John is doing down at ISI all the time to realize that he's in communication with these people that are, you know, sort of, uh, it's what the internet was becoming was this heartbeat of international communications that really was beginning to uh, help structure these types of transformations like the Soviet Union's dissolution. So, you know, there was, there was a real powerful sense that that was, uh, that that was, you know, sort of underlying um, all that he was working on was this was a real awareness of what um, what the effect of these tools were on people. You know, I think that was another real important why he would be so interested in the RFCs and why he'd be so interested in making sure that people understood what what it was about. The idea of consensus, um, you know, uh, and community building, you know, which is now, you know, I was I was part of the design team on Flickr, and Flickr is a is a community based service for photos. But really, you know, what we had discovered, the whole idea of Web 2.0, uh, is that you know, there's it's the social that's the social fabric that underlies the tools that really make the tools viable. And I think that John really was the, was the shepherd of the community. You know, we talk about community building online as a set of users now, but the community that John built was the actual community that created the internet in the first place, uh, which is a very powerful, you know, I mean, the idea that one could sort of be able to negotiate the roiling sort of waters of the, the politics and the technologies and things like that to, you know, cook down all of these initiatives into things that people could all kind of, con you, know, uh, meta you know, sort of consume and understand and share with each other um, is, is a profound thing. So I'm, you know, I was, it was only until, late, not until later in life that I sort of began to understand what, you know, what John really represented. And it's just such an amazing honor to have him in my family. And it's an amazing honor to represent him here with all of you. Um, thank you very much.